hope I can see my, how do I even do this? My comments show up here? Anybody here? Okay. There we go. What's up guys? The chat moves fast. I don't do a lot of lives, so, you know, um, <clears throat> sorry if this messes up a little bit. What's up guys? What's up Jim? Yo. Jeremy, Section 8, Noel, Rent, thanks, bud, Labern, Michigan, Raymond, what's up, what's up, guys, so, I'm out fishing today, um, I'll probably, I don't know, I'll probably go live for a couple hours, you know, I'll probably, I'll probably quit around 4.30 or so, maybe around 5 o'clock, oh, hey, Keaton, Hey, you're welcome, Laver. And I actually really enjoy uh, making those videos. I love beaver trapping. I got a ton of beaver trapping videos coming out, and I'm going to make some more. Um, tonight, you guys, at 6 o'clock, I got part three coming out of my uh, my Man vs. Beaver series. That one, by far, is my favorite. Like, don't miss that one, you guys. It's the bomb. I catch a ton of beaver in this freaking massive lodge in this deer camp. It's actually just sick. Anyway, yeah. Nice, dude. I love catching muskrats. Uh, we're fishing a lake. Oh, gosh. We were on all day. We're going to fish at it. Where much we got? Oh, nice, Wallet Hunter. We're fishing out on a local a local lake. Um, a lot of perch in here. Um, there's some walleyes. It's kind of a little bit of everything. And I just thought to myself, hey, like, maybe I'll just go live from my fish house. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just so you guys know, like, I'm right now, I don't know if I can my camera around I'm uh, I don't need you right now but um, right now I'm actually in my my otter hideout single man um, pretty cold outside but inside here nice and warm I got a little tiny portable buddy eater keeps me warm uh, right now I don't think there's a lot of walleyes you know cruising in here yet I would say around four o'clock maybe just hoping to get one um, I should be able to catch some perch before then, but going simple. I got a dead stick here. I haven't put it down yet. Hey, DWS guys, check out, check out DWS's channel. That guy's got some really good fishing videos. He's a big panfish guy. Got my turn to the custom rods power precision. Anthony, I don't, uh, I actually don't order any of my traps i've been going them to the fleet store and buying them um i should order don't mind me guys i'm just getting a fat head here here we go uh kevin people are required to have a trapping license they cannot sell to just anybody they want the person that uh the person that uh is buying has to have a fur buyer's license Anyway, this is a 36 inch tune up custom rod, power precision, walleye rod. Just explain my setup. I got eight pound on this, you know, cause I'm going for walleyes. Got a swivel, like 16 inches of line, little buckshot there. Um, you guys can talk fishing, we can talk trapping, we can talk anything you guys want. There's actually some nice perch in this lake, you guys. That's kind of what I'm hoping to pull here. Maybe a perch or two for you guys. I wish I could have like a camera on my flasher at the same time so you guys could see all that, but obviously that ain't gonna happen. And if it could, my technical uh, skill level for doing such a thing is not very well. <clears throat> now they're not <laughs> DWS, they're not jumbos. They're, they're just a good Minnesota, you know, a good Minnesota perch um around here you know 10 inches is a good perch we you know we get them up to 11 directly around me i got some um last week out with my i was out with the ice fishing minnesota team i got some 12s that were just chunky as heck no this is not my main job guys i you know and if you see me squinting or up in the camera a lot it's because i lost my glasses like two weeks ago 
Bummer. Lost my glasses. I gotta get some new ones. But no, this is this isn't. I I work my butt off during the summertime, you guys. Hey, thanks, Heath. I'm really pumping the videos out this year. You know that's the plan. Hey, Nick, what's up, bud? Good to see you in here. <clears throat> Matt, I actually got the brand new MX7 like yesterday. I still need to order the Navionics chip for it, but um, once I uh, once I get that, I will be out fishing with it. I'll go back up here. Seen somebody mentioned I set my first beaver trap today because of you, Alex. Well, I hope you get something, dude. Beaver trapping is very addicting. Any type of trapping actually is extremely addicting. Rat trapping. I I've seen a lot of people. Uh, I've seen a lot of people ask me about trapping other things. So I'm going to give you guys a, a rundown of my, my trapping background. Um, growing up, I trapped a lot of muskrats, not a lot of beavers. You know, when my dad was alive, I trapped with my dad up until, you know, a lot in the early nineties to mid nineties, my dad passed away. Oh, there's a fish coming. You guys I might have something. Eat it. Come on. Dude. What do we got? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no. Sorry guys. I'm just trying to get this fish for you. Come on. It's right on me. This is big too. Come on, eat it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bounce it off the bottom a couple times, you guys. No. Guys, you left. Oh, yo, thanks a lot, Kevin, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate the tip, guys. Or tip, appreciate that tip, bud. I, I, I really appreciate it a lot. That, that you know, you guys watching all my stuff really helps me out, you know. Um, and the money that I do make, I try and put it back into my, my channel here and, you know, better my stuff. Um, that fish left, by the way. I'm currently sitting in 16 feet of water, you guys. On a there's a there's a weed line up here like 12 feet drops off to like 26 feet behind me I'm on this break line hoping to get some walleyes cruising up checking out those weeds I'm gonna go back up here a little bit and see what I missed hey Patrick thanks for that hello from southern Wisconsin veteran rice fishing how do you go to spot fish I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna try to keep up with the chat here um points bars green weeds i mean it really depends on the lake basins there's a lot of different places a guy could fish oh hey you guys mary boyt that's my mom my mom's in hey mom how's it going i haven't caught any fish yet so it's hard to keep them but maybe i will if you guys want some hey jj touch Bro, oh, Brandy, I seen you were out fishing. Did you catch anything? Brian, thanks a lot, man. Just trying to trying to pump out the videos, you know what I'm saying? Around the bend, I my kayak fishing is very minimal, but this year I plan on buying one. Um, a buddy of mine, Jacob Do Jacob Jagged Tooth Tackle, go check him out. He might be on here later. I don't know. Um, he's got a lot of good kayak videos. Um, then also my buddy, Matt, ND Yak Angler. A lot of you guys probably know him. He also does a lot of uh, kayak fishing. He does some great some great content. You guys definitely go check those guys out. Hey, Trapper Jay sent me over to your channel. Kevin, that's awesome. I appreciate it. Trapper Jay is the man. That guy can catch anything. He can trap. He can catch raccoons. He can catch fox. He can catch coyotes. He can catch bobcats. He can catch otters. He can catch anything. I Trapper Jay's a, and he's a really nice guy too. And his videos are are, are top notch. Labyrinth, how many beer for for the year so far? I'm you know, I'm not positive, but I think I'd say I'm probably over a hundred. Well, Mom, if I catch anything, I will make sure and uh, 
I will make sure and keep some for you. I do expect to catch maybe a few perch here. Some nice ones. And if I catch, like last time I caught a couple really nice walleyes. Anthony, you know, I could bring my mom fishing, but she she doesn't handle the cold very well. Oh, hey. Got Jay Hansen here. Outdoors with Jay. Jay is a really good fisherman. Does a lot of bass fishing. Um, does a lot of bass tournaments. He has like a lot of good videos. Go check out Outdoors with Jay. He's a really, he's a really good guy. Too. you guys make sure and go check him out so far it's a bust you guys dave got my forgot your first beaver <clears throat> what'd you like what'd you catch it and what kind of set how big was it matt bird can I get a shout out to my two boys landon and bentley they love your stuff that's awesome hey landon bentley thanks for watching guys i you know i i, I like to hear that people enjoy my videos you know um it it makes a guy feel good that there's other people out there that enjoy everything you're doing and you know and sharing what i'm doing my adventures and everything with you guys it's it's a lot of fun it's it's really nice talking to people i need to do lives more often i was coming out fishing and i was either going to shoot a video and i just thought to myself you know what i'm going to go live and i like it I, it works out great dead in the trap live oh I died in the live trap two days really every channel Schneiderberg, Schneider, Schneiderberg, guys, remember now, if I say something wrong, bad, I don't have my glasses with me. So I'm just trying to, I will take them, yeah, I'm cold below, yeah, see, my mom, she doesn't handle cold very well. It'll be like, like, you go to her place and it's like 106 in there when she had wood heat, that'll give you an indication. Um, my go-to plastic early ice, actually my favorite plastics, you guys, um, Guys, go check out Alex Levenhagen. He has a Facebook page called Panfish Pirates. He has all of my favorite baits. Also some of my favorite jigs. I mean, he can make custom jigs for you guys. Um, he has a Facebook page, Panfish Pirates. If you go look in like pretty much any of my ice fishing videos, you scroll down the description, you're gonna see a Panfish Pirates link in there. That's where I get most of my stuff from, is from Alex. Um, he has a few really good baits. He has the Sailor. Um, the Fluke, the Ripper, um, gosh, the Swabby. Those are all my favorite crappie, earliest crappie jigs. I really like the Fluke and the Ripper, or the, the, the Fluke and the Sailor. Some of my favorite panfish jigs, early ice, any actually any ice time of year. Oops. We have eight pound smallmouth. Hi, bud. Oh, <laughs> hey, Jay. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate the tip, bud. You're you're a good guy. Good fisherman too, you know. That's that's really kind of you, bud. Thank you so much. Remember now, get guys go out and drop. Go drop Jay a sub, sub, or go subscribe to Jay. Mm. Great guy, great content. You know, help him build up his following. He definitely deserves more more subscribers. Best beaver lure when you have no ice. Any caster based lure. You know, I'm uh, actually I just started using this uh, bearded man beaver lure this year. Um, actually, that's coming up next Saturday in some foothold. But next Saturday, foothold video, man. I catch some giants during the ice season. Kind of crazy. Um, also, um, Mark June, is it? He has a slap tail slather. That's one I've been using quite a bit during the springtime on my open water videos in the springtime. John Bellamy, look forward to your some of your videos someday, brother. Yeah, dude. I and a, you know a lot of people ask me to come fish with me here in Minnesota, and I I love fishing with other people. Um, it's just it's hard to find time, and it's not because I don't want to. Between a bunch of crap I got going on in my life right now, it's it's just tough. But it, you know I've been thinking about doing a scheduling a meetup, you know, like a month ahead of time. Anybody that could meet, you know, could make it. That'd be be fun to meet up with everybody do a little get together and chat no oh, section eight yeah oh there's a fish got him <laughs> oh perch he doesn't look like a giant though you guys hey <laughs> here we go 
So this definitely isn't a wait. There's a bunch of perch down there, you guys. This is a little guy. Just a little guy. Let him go. There's a bunch of fish down there, you guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna catch some fish and not talk a whole lot. I think that's the plan. You guys don't see me re responding. Oh, too much right away. Cause I'm trying to catch a fish. Yeah, there we go. My hand is wet. I don't know if fish are just still down here. There's a bunch of them. Come on, where were you guys? Oh, there's a big school. Oh, here comes one. Come on. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. He's all over it like white on rice. Oh, and I missed him, you guys. Oh, no. Poor hook set job. Another one coming. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Hammer City. That's what I'm looking for. No, he's going back down. Don't do this to me. If you don't bite my line, my mom's going to be so pissed off because she wants to eat you. Come on. Dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Come on. No. What are you doing to me, fish? You're supposed to bite. Oh. Did I lose my bait? Oh, I lost my minnow tail, you guys. I'm sorry. If I'm not responding to this stuff, I'm going to take a look here quick. Matt, my favorite fish to fish for? I got a lot of them, bud. Man, I like... I like perch, I like big sunfish. I kind of like everything, you guys. I like big pike, I like big crappie. Ah, 100K, that's a long, <laughs> Dave, that's a long ways from now. But someday, that'd be fantastic. That was another fish coming up. Come on. I'm gonna try to scroll down, you guys, and see where we're at. Eight hours last night. What's up, Scott? Fish fry. I'm, oh, there's a, you know, I got a, I got a buck shot set up here, you guys. But, you know, I also got set up. Um, I also got my precision noodle here set up with a, with a chunk of uh, waxy on it. There we go, that's going back down. Hey Chris, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not really on them. Oh, there's a couple fish here now. Come on, come on. Don't be shy. Here we go. Here we go. Not a giant, just but it's a fish, you guys. <laughs> there are some really nice perch in here. This is another little guy. There's some nice perch in here, and there's some, there are some nice, there's kind of nice everything in here, you guys. Where am I at? Oh, there I am, okay. Mm, my favorite panfish rod? Mm, that's a tough one. I actually have two favorite panfish rods. Oh, here we go. Come on. Mm. Crap. Ooh, what is that? That's big. That's, that's, is that? It's a Loch Ness Monster. That was a big mark. That could have been a beaver swimming through on the bottom. Fall ball. Come on. My, my battery supply fell down, you guys. I'll pick it up, but I can't. I got fish all over me. Come on. Come on. Oh, see? I got him. Got him. Nailed it. 
more, more little guys, probably seven inches. Am I supposed to take a time out to fix stuff that's broken or falling, you guys? Um, I'll pick that up in a minute. But get back to my favorite panfish rods. My uh, tuned up custom rods. It's got soon in Iowa. What's got soon in Iowa? Oh, hey, Dave. There's David Velez. This guy's a great guy. David is a great guy. I've fished with David on a few numerous occasions. He's a fun guy to fish with. Very knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Ooh, come on. Come on. This could be better. You know how I can tell it's better? Because it's not wanting to bite my line. Come on. Come on. Oh, well. <clears throat> Tuna Custom Rods Precision Noodle and their Bull Whip. There's, those are my favorite panfish rods, you guys. I prefer a longer rod. I don't know. I've, I've used shorter ones and I just, I don't know. I just don't like them. I'm going to try to pick up my battery, you guys. Pick up my life here. Oh, oh no. Stop it. Whatever's going on. Ooh, what if I go like this? I better go like this. Look at that, you guys. That worked out great. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna read these and shake at the same time. Oh, my slide. I ooh, there's a fish on me. I don't do a lot of uh, footholds for coyotes. But I have some, and I had planned on making, doing some foothold stuff this year for them. There we go. That's a little bit bigger one. I planned on doing some footholds this year for coyotes. Work got crazy, and it just didn't pan out for me. It was unfortunate. Ow. Mm, a hook. That hook is sharp right in the finger. Right in the finger. Oh, red leg. Stop it. Ow. Oh. Oh, where's my wax? There they are, my waxies. More fish down there. I'm gonna get this on, get this back down there, and I'm gonna continue with the comments. Commentories. Commentaries? How do you guys say that? Okay, dropping her back down. What do we got here? Yeah, I didn't, I've, I used to trap a lot of fox, bud, way back in the day, a lot of fox trapping. I might try to snare some coyotes, what are your thoughts? On entering the ice fishing tournament, there's some across the internet. I've wanted to enter some ice fishing tournaments, Corey, just for the fun of it. You know, I'm, I don't know how I do, but it'd be fun just for the experience, you know. Personally, that's what I think. Brandon Outdoors Adventures. Hey, Brandon, thanks a lot, dude. Appreciate that tip, bud. Very, very much. Go over, check out Brandon Outdoors. I'm here, you know, kind of we're all here networking we can help each other out get each other subs you know go over check out brandon drop the guy a sub that'd be fantastic roger i prefer a 36 inch rod i like a longer fishing rod most of mine are 36. matt i have i have fished with jt rods before um at one point i did own i did own the panfish snare um and i i fished with pretty much their whole lineup a buddy of mine had them um they're you know they're not bad rods i'm not going to say they're bad rods at all <clears throat> Um, and then I got to use some of these tuned up rods and they really caught my eye. Um, they perform really well. They have, there's many different rods for different occasions of fish. Ooh, this is, what do we got here? Eat it. Fish are gonna give me a heart attack, you guys. Buggy outdoors, uh, lake recommendations. There's, I mean, there's a lot of good lakes around here. You know, light a leaf. Big Detroit's good. Rock Lake. Um, there we go. There we go, boys. Um, Cotton Lake. I mean, they're all pretty. They're all pretty good. They're, they all have fish in them, you know. You just gotta find them. 
just like any other lake. Oh God, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. NT, hello. I fish ice merch all the time. Section 8, I like I said, I'd love to do some ice fishing, tur fishing tournaments myself. Jeremy, I don't have live, live scope. Um, I run during the ice season. I run all Markham products. <clears throat> My side, I have I have all brands of 330s. I got Victor's, I got Duke, um, I have Belisle. I'm gonna tell you guys, I prefer Belisle over all of them. Um, I actually had, up until the spring, I had almost two dozen Belisles. Somebody stole them from me, cleaning out my storage unit. Somebody stole my fish house. They stole three dozen of my old Victor stop loss traps that were my grandpa's. They stole almost two dozen Belisle 330s. They stole a bunch of crap. So I'm going to get some more Belisles eventually here. But they are, I think they are the best trap, hands down. All right, David, thanks for stopping in, bud. Fishing's kind of slow, nothing big yet there. Aaron, Aaron, hope I'll, I'll probably mess up your name. I'm sorry if I do. Yep, definitely Anthony. Belial's by far are my favorite kind of bear. I, you know, Belial. I like just call. Him, I like I like calling Canadian Bend. That's a lot of my a lot of people I know refer to him as. South Central, the barometric pressure. I know I know it affects fishing, but to me, when I want to go fishing, the barometric pressure is not going to keep me off the lake. There's a good chance I'm still going to catch fish. Might not be as many. Who knows? They're always biting somewhere. TCS cut from jigs. How's bite? Like I said it's it's not ideal. Well, it's slow. Like I said, this is this is more of a walleye spot. You know, I'm kind of hoping I'm gonna. I don't know how long you guys are going to stick around for. I don't even know what time it is. 3.30. I'm going to probably be live till I don't know, sometime around close to 5 o'clock. Hopefully by then we'll, we might pick up a walleye or two. There's some freaking donkeys in this lake, boys. If I could hook into one for you guys, that'd be fantastic. Any YouTube tips, dude? Mm. The biggest thing that I've known, noticed is you need to upload on a regular basis. I've been uploading since November 1st on a pretty regular basis, more than usual. I've been doing, it's always a Saturday and a Wednesday, you know, for sure. Now I've been adding um, some Thursdays and Sundays. If you look into your analytics on YouTube, um, it, like it shows that a lot of the people that view my videos are actually online at noon on Sundays, noon till dark. So normally I upload tonight, which I will be at six o'clock and then tomorrow at six o'clock, but actually tomorrow's upload is at noon. Um, it's actually a freaking awesome tip down video chasing big largemouth and big pike with uh, Jacob from Jagged Dude Tackle and Matt over at Indy, Indy Yak Angler. Chase uh, like tip, tip downs like flying like crazy you guys. That was such an awesome time. So that's tomorrow at noon. But like I said, tonight at 6 o'clock. You guys uh, don't want to miss that upload. It was awesome. So I'm going to give you a little backdrop of that, of that video before it uploads, you guys. This is part three of trapping beaver for a, a bunch of people near deer camp. Um, that particular video, they, they called that beaver lodge the Taj Mahal because it was so big. And literally, they have a deer stand in the background that, that says the Taj Mahal on it. Ooh, there's a fish coming. So it's kind of funny. Here we go. Come on. There we go. 
there's actually another spot in this lake I could be at, you guys, and I'd be catching a lot more perch and a lot bigger ones. But, you know, then I'd have to move around by time the uh, by time I got rolling around to try to catch a walleye for you guys. Perch aren't very big. This one isn't anyway. Like I said, there are nice ones in here. Tips on YouTube. I'm getting back to that quick. Upload, upload, upload on a regular basis there, bud. My editing isn't real fancy and flashy. I don't show a lot of random... I don't just do a lot of B-roll. And a lot of people don't like it, which is fine. But I, I like to get to the nitty-gritty, you know. A little B-roll here and there, but I like, I like to get to what I'm doing. Bubba, yeah, what lake? What coordinates? Lake Nunya. <laughs> My side, we can snare where we live. Cable restraints for coyotes this year. Under ice beaver, we can do that. Um, TCS, I'm, I'm just using a, a three millimeter jig with a 2X hook on it and a buckshot with a minnow head on it currently. Iowa Cubbies, hey man, thanks for the tip, dude. I appreciate it very, very much. I appreciate the tip, you know. I appreciate everything you guys do for me. That's very kind of you. Section 8, getting ready your vexes. Working on a Markham rep. Oh, yeah. Section 8, I mean, they're, <clears throat> Vex is a good unit, too. Um, they're, you know, their only downfall to me is, you know, they don't, they don't have fully adjustable zoom. Um, you know, they zoom the top of the water column and the bottom, like, 10 or 12 feet. When I'm crappie fishing, you know, in basins, I'm, you know, those fish are often suspended 15, 18 feet down. You know, you can't zoom. You can't zoom on that, you know, with a VEX. Um, that's why I prefer the Markham unit for one of the one of the reasons they're they're really nice. I mean, multiple screens. Um, they're just a wonderful unit. Buy up those Belials, dude, Matt. I have fish malax, but not a lot. Oh yeah, Brent. Perch of all sizes are still definitely fun to uh, fun to catch. Guys, make sure hit the thumbs up button. I want to see everybody hitting that. That way, I can have an idea of how many people watch the stream today. That'd be fantastic. I'd appreciate it. Ooh, Chris, deer hunting, huh? Hope you. Hope you either get a big doe or you get the monster buck that lives out in the woods. I see that's 61 people now on. Saturday I didn't know, uh, you know, maybe there'd be a lot of people out fishing and doing all the fun stuff like me. And then I also thought, well, maybe if they're out, uh, maybe if they're out fishing, they might turn on my live stream too. And then they could say, hey, we're out fishing too on a live stream. Well, I'm going to switch back from my precision, or from my little tungsten here. And this is, I'll show you my tungsten. This is actually my favorite jig from Alex over at Panfish Pirates, you guys. This is the last one I have. I have to have him make me more. But he'll, he'll custom make stuff for you guys. You see this right here? That little guy? That is a three millimeter jig with a like a four millimeter hook on it. So you could have that small profile jig and yet still have the bigger hook, you know, if you want to use a, a small bait or something. In fact, I think I got some of my, I'm gonna set this down for a second before I get my box shot down there. I think I got some of my, right off hand here, some of my favorite ones. Ah, here we go, here we go. See this here? This is my favorite, probably my favorite crappie bait right here. These are like an inch and a quarter along. They're called a fluke. Go over and <clears throat> check those out. Alex has those over there. It looks like it, it's pretty much looks like a tiny minnow. See that? I put this bad boy on a small jig and jig it. That that tail. See a little flickering action there? Crappies hammer that. Absolutely hammer it. It's ridiculous. I'm going back to my minnow, you guys. I can, I'm going to put a different minnow, minnow head on it all together, I think. Minnow tail, minnow, minnow, minnow. I do have a dead stick, you guys. I am I want to put a shiner down, but I don't want to put it down quite yet. 
because I know these perch are going to come and harass the crap out of it. So I would say after 4 o'clock, I'm going to put a shine. Because I have a bunch of golden shiners. I'm going to put a golden shiner down on my dead stick. Try and get the walleye to commit. One of those maybe. Oh, what do we got here? Let's try that. That's a minnow. That's a minnow. Hey. Oh, whoops. This. You know, I don't. I don't like. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the treble on this buckshot, you guys. I think I'm gonna switch it out. While I do that, I'm gonna check this up. Mm. My side, a lot of people think I'm Canadian. They say, I, they say I, have, I have an accent, but I don't hear it. Other people do, of course. I, I don't use uh, 120s or 160s. Um, I use 110s for rats and that's about it i do actually i do use 220s for otters i do like 280s i need to buy some i've used some in the past now in video though for beaver and otters both here in the hard water for the first time you just your tomorrow finally got some ice here it's been bad so far in, in finger lakes new york that's you know it's the one good thing about living around here we got usually we usually have ice first and we have ice last which is actually kind of bad i mean everybody likes ice fishing but after 10 months of it it gets kind of old what's my all-time favorite lure of walleye when you're on the ice i jonathan i don't think it's it's pretty hard to beat a buckshot there bud buckshot or jigging wrap if i had to choose one it would have to be a, a northland buckshot pink and white or the green and white almost ice here in southern michigan the metro is getting pounded right now Jay, I bet it is, dude. I'm, you know, I can imagine because I know I know you guys don't have a ton of lakes down there, and you have a lot more ice fishermen. So I can imagine, and you guys still, you know, you guys still get some good fish down there. And it's just crazy how much the pressure is, but you know, still, you guys do great. Have that mold, Mike, Michael Janes, Michael Janeski. What's up, dude? How's it going? Oh, there's a fish down there right now. Oh. Oh. Is it? Oh. Should I? I don't. That's why I can't look at my flasher. If I look at my flasher and I see fish, I don't want to change this out, but I, go, I should. Hey, Derek. Much respect from Maine. Thanks a lot, dude. I appreciate it, bud. Have your stream going in the fish house. Hey, there's Trevor. What's up, dude? Trevor, he's a good guy. I've fished with Trevor off and on. I've known him, known him, made to fish with him more. He's a, he's a really good guy, really good fisherman. Thanks for popping in here, Trevor. What's your opinion on anti-trappers? How do you deal with them? I, you know what? Anti-trappers can do what they can do and say whatever they want. Um, they're, they're people. I, they can be annoying. Not gonna lie. Um, but if they, you know. I really like them to leave me alone and I leave them alone. Yeah. <clears throat> Jonathan, the best person when you handled yourself with the bad person, the dogs. Oh, that was a that was something else there, bud. Um let me grab this. Oh, gotta show you guys my my box here. Straighten it out. See that? Look at that giant box right there. Dude, I got all my jigs in here. All my spoons in here. You guys are wondering. That's put out by Nicole Stone, Stone Tackle. You guys can do a Google search of that. So I know a lot of people have seen this bigger box. You don't have to carry 10 smaller boxes with you. You can put everything in here. What One thing I, I'm gonna do is, and a lot of people is, I'm gonna get a piece of foam. And then when I open this up, put the foam in, close this. It'll keep these from moving around at all, you guys. But excellent, excellent, excellent option. Um, I was talking about something else and I got sidetracked. I got sidetracked from the sidetrack. Oh yeah, the old guy with the dogs. That guy was annoying. I didn't like him at all. His dogs are cool though. I did not like him. He was very not nice to me. Um, don't mind me guys, I'm just looking, digging. Um, all the above. Hmm, okay. 
That guy wasn't very nice. His dogs were nice. She thought I was trespassing. I was, in fact, not. Game Warden called me. Was like, hey, Scott, this is the Game Warden. Do you know why I'm calling you? And I said, yep. And he said, you know what? He said, you're not doing nothing wrong. I said, you know what? I said, I know I'm not doing nothing wrong. And he said, that old fella does not like you at all. I said, no, he sure doesn't. And I said, I don't really like him either. And he actually, he was kind of afraid for me, you guys. Like something like that old crazy guy might hurt me or something. I, I was kind of worried that he might shoot me. I'm not going to lie. That old fella was a few bricks short of the, of the masonry, you know what I'm saying? Let's see here. I'm going to... I'm going to go like this, you guys. I'm changing my treble on this thing here quick. When I say quick, not really that quick because I'm having troubles getting it off of here. Don't mind me, you guys. I'm just trying to... There we go. That's, that's good. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that old fella ended up getting fined for harassing me. You can't... You cannot harass someone while they're out trapping or hunting it's illegal that guy found out the hard way guys and i tell you what that game warden was more than happy to give him a fine he told me that that old guy was crazy he wanted to he wanted to go get his own trapping license and take all my traps out put his own traps in and all this craziness but in the end he got everything that was coming to him all right, I almost got this hook changed out, you guys. There we go. Change my treble out quick. I just took it off a different lure that I don't use as much, and there's a big fish in the bottom right now. It's just sitting there. There's a big fish in the bottom right now, just sitting there, you guys. My buck shot's all tangled up. Okay. Give me two seconds. I'll be back to the chat. this fish anyway, a couple of them. There we go. Got him. Change out the dull hook for a sharp one. Ooh, too sharp. I'm bleeding. All right. He's going back in the water. I'm going to put this minnow tail on here. I'm going to run back through the chat. That way I'll get 24,000 bajillion miles behind on it. Yeah, my Android sucks at autocorrect too. How much ice you got there? About 7 inches. A ton of catches on a 1 inch Williams wobbler. Oh, I believe it, bud. Any, any lure is good. Maybe see if you could make some more videos with the angry landowner. No, I don't want to get shot because I like living. Cooler, even bud. I love a long shrink and a short hook. A long shank. I assume you meant. Watch your six trapper. Yeah, Dave. I don't want to get shot. Hidden harvest grow lights. Hey, Bob. You didn't. You don't know it. That little video of yours helped me. Not just in trapping in life. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that, man. Appreciate the kind words. Hit me up, Dave, when get out fishing. Brother and I are coming to Otto Terrell County in June without giving up your lake to your Mecca and good crappie lake for us to try on our trip. Um, gosh. <sighs> what I what I just suggest is look at creel surveys. You can go on the DNR website, look at any any lake here, look at the creel, see how many look at the surveys, how many crappies are in there. Look at those. You'll find fish, bud, trust me. Hey, Jim Riser. Ah, Jim's cool. Jim's a beaver trapper. Guys, go check out his channel. He just caught, uh, I watched a video of his today. Caught one in the 330s. He's been catching a few in footholds. He's got some good stuff. Go check out Jim for sure. I have to say, my servo trap in Michigan sometimes, Scott. Thanks for doing the live streams. Really enjoying it. Hey, no problem there, bud. I'm just trying to keep up with the chat. Got 80 people in here now. I'm liking it. I'm gonna get back down and try and catch this uh, this pond monster down here. Let's see what time is it? 3:51. Okay. I would say 
I don't know, another half hour or so, hopefully. See, yesterday when I was fishing here, you guys, I was fishing with a big rattle bait. Then I had some big marks cruising up that just wouldn't bite. They were like, nah, not today. I'm like, crap, dude, that's not cool. Hey, no problem, Jim. No problem. You're a good guy. Said a, you gave me a, you've said a lot of nice stuff about me. You know what I did forget though? You guys, I forgot my drink at home. That's kind of a bust. I'd say within 20 minutes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my dead stick down. With a nice shiner on it. How's the audio, you guys? Is it is it decent anyway? <clears throat> no wind or, or anything? Is the connection pretty good? The area that I'm at right now doesn't have the best 4G, so I was kind of concerned about that. But it seems like it's going pretty pretty good there, guys. You know what a lot of people, uh, a lot of people have, oh, audio yeah, is perfect connection, good connection, oh, perfect, can I ask you how old you are? Yeah. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, big fish. Eat it. Oh. Guys, this is big. This ain't no perch. Oh, I got him. Big fish, you guys. Big fish. Big fish, boys. Please be a walleye. Oh, boy. Big fish, you guys. Hey, Ma, I might have some fish for you. Sixteen feet. This, I bet this is a walleye, you guys. It's gotta be, right? No, yeah? No, it's a pike. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a walleye for sure. Oh. Isn't it? Is that pike? Yeah, it's pike. I thought it was a walleye. It's a chunky one, though. Oh, come on there, bud. Oh, God. Don't do this to me. Okay, somehow this pike has a transducer cord in his mouth. Not even sure how he pulled that off. Okay, got that part taken care of. <clears throat> oh. All right, you guys, sorry. I thought for sure this was a walleye. This chunky pike though, the pike in this lake are really fat. Dude, it, it took him. He was like, here, get this out of here. There we go. He didn't want to commit right away. Usually pike are like, well, blam, right up. There we go. If I hold him to the camera, will he look? Is that 40 inches, you guys? It's a pretty fish, you know? It's probably a, I don't know. They're, I mean, it's chunky, though. It's probably a, I'll bet it's two-pound fish. Do I have my, I might have brought my, did I? I thought I brought my scale. I didn't, you guys. All right, we're going to put this guy back. You know what that is? Can you guys smell that? Can you smell that through the screen? What that smells like? Mm-hmm. The stank of pike, boys. The stank of pike. I'm just going to check this here quick. Okay. There's no abrasions. That's the most important thing. You ever catch a pike and he looks like you've got his hook halfway through your through his mouth? Always check for abrasions in your line because that's what's going to happen. You're going to get an abrasion, and then before you know it, you're going to uh, get another fish on. It's going to break you off. Okay. Now that I got the stinky stink off, coming back here, guys, a little bit. Oh, getting back to you, Jonathan. How old am I? I just turned 42 years old, guys. Yep, so I'm on the backward side of the hill. You know what I'm saying? 
but I can still set my 330s by hand. That's the important part. I'm going to have to obviously switch here one of these years and get a setter because it's I'm definitely easier. Oh, there's another fish coming out. What do we got? Is this another big fish or what the heck? Are these perch? I think it's a school of perch, you guys. We're gonna. Oop, there's one. I'm trying to scroll down, boys, and I'm catching fish here. There's perch, there's perch, caught my deucer, caught the deucer, boys. A little bit bigger one. Big school of perch down there right now, you guys. A bigger one. What are you, 16 inches? <laughs> We're just kidding. Maybe eight. Have you ever thought about getting a dedicated camera size of my... I have thought about getting a dedicated camera. I do need to get a big camera there, bud. That's... For sure. My minnow head fall off? No. I do need to get a big camera. All my friends have big cameras. I don't have a big camera. You know, some people are born with small cameras. What do you do? Let's see here. Tom Keelish and everything outdoors. Oh, come on. Come on. Checking in for the first time, bud. Well, glad to see you in here. Oh, and I missed him. There we go. Henry, Easy Skiers, 37. I wish I was 37. Some days, man, after a long day of beaver trapping, guys. And you guys know how that goes. I feel like you're 120. I think I lost my minnow head now. Yeah, I did. Let me put this tail on. We'll get back down there. Oh! Okay. Get this back down there. Okay, Mom. That... I need to get you... If I can get you a walleye, you guys... Ooh. Come on. Yep, there's fish coming. Still. I have to turn the, the light on my shuttle here and maybe start glowing this thing up. I'm thirsty. I, I, Jay, Jay, I should start drinking this lake water, bud. Robert Rodriguez, how's it going? Plan on pike and perch in Devil's Lake this year. Robert, I will be out in Devil's Lake this year. End of February. In March, I'll be out there a couple times, I'm sure. I I can't live without my Devil's Lake fix. I would probably die without it. Pretty, guys, it's windy out right now. This is, oh, come on. Come on. No. What you, what's going on? That's weird. Come on. Dude, you're all over it. Eat it. Comes up 10 feet from the bottom to not bite my line, you guys. Kind of rude, isn't it? There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, little perch. I wonder if I was minnowless, possibly, for that. Because I came up without a minnow on it. Eww. A little perch. Minnow time. Minnow time. Gotta reach inside the bag actually in order to catch a minnow just so you guys know. Oh, here's a minnow. Mm. minnow. Go with that with him. Okay. fish yeah mom they stink but you know i love those pike 
Do I smell the caster on your hands? No, I don't. But I do love the smell of caster, that's for sure. <laughs> smell a vision? You don't want smell pipe there, dude. I'm getting back to the big camera, though. I do have to get a big camera here one of these years mm -hmm. soon. Honestly, I have a scale in my truck. I can be there in about three hours. Well, David, I mean, I don't think I'll be here in three hours, but... <laughs> So, got my buddy David Enstead, Mission Outdoors. Uh, you need to go check him out. Drop that guy a sub. He's He's got a lot of really good content. He's, done, he's trapping. Um, he likes to do a lot of hunting stuff. Um, he's from Minnesota. Great guy, David is. I've known David for a few years now. Make sure and go, to, go check his channel out. Drop that guy a sub for sure. Do I ever fish around the Brainerd Lakes area? Carter, I don't. I'm mostly around Detroit Lakes. I get, you know, I get over around Otter Tail. I might do some stuff in Bemidji later this year. I don't know. Pike are really good eating. There's several ways to get rid of every bone. Yep. I suck. I, I sell cat litter. Ah, sorry. I took a second. You're right. Pike are fantastic eating. And there is quite a few ways to get rid of the bones. I eat a lot of pike um, and know how to flay them boneless. They are f definitely a fantastic eating fish. Come to Red on Monday and hammer some eyes. Jonathan, I wish I could. Um, Monday and Tuesday I actually will be out guiding with Jesse Thalman over at Thalman's Guide Service there in Henning. I'm doing some bunch of guiding with him this year. If you guys want to hang out, Hit up Jesse, you know, and book a pan fishing trip. So not only will you get a pan fishing trip, we can hang out and BS the whole time. Good guy. Look up Thalman's Guide Service. Solid fisherman Jesse is. My side, you could pass yourself on off a sturdy any day. You know what? I have a, I've, I've had a lot more people say I look younger than I look older. So I'll take that as a compliment. 42 and 30. Hit that thumbs up, please. Yes. Please hit the thumbs up, you guys. I want to I wanna see some likes going down. When I catch a walleye here, I expect a lot more likes, right? My mama will like it. I'll get me a, get her some supper. Hey, love your show. Absolutely fantastic. Blue Boy Dad, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm liking the videos this year. I'm, this winter, I've been on top of them just I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a heads up so my videos I have a lot of videos shot and uploading you guys so any videos that I'm actually that I'm actually producing right now you guys probably won't see you know for a few weeks because I'm you know I got a bunch uploaded I think I'm I think I'm already up till January 1st with my uploads um, I got one tonight at 6 tomorrow on the next Wednesday, then next Saturday and Sunday, and the following Wednesday. I might do one on Thursday too. I haven't decided yet. That's a lot of videos to upload, which I don't mind really, but I don't, you know, I don't want to burn you guys out on, on watching my videos. So I might try to put something small together. Like, I know, like, a lot of stuff this year, my smaller stuff, like, people are like, how do you locate a bank then? You know? So I'm out and I'm like, man, these are some nice bank ends. Like, like I should do a bank end video. Ooh, what do we got here? This looks bigger. And it looked like it went away. I'm going to turn my light on here so I can glow this bad boy up a little bit. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm going to knock that snow down. Um, yeah, so anyway doing uh doing my like my bank how to locate a bank and placing the swivel stick so many people have asked me about placing the swivel stick how do you place the swivel stick how do you do that you, you know i talk about it but i thought it'd be really cool to shoot that video with my my markham pursuit hd and then like literally let you know let you guys get in there and see exactly you know precisely how i place that swivel stick under the water I think it's pretty, I 
think I'm running out of propane. I have more bottles though, just so you guys know. So I'm not going to freeze to death out here. Let me go. When fishing alone with the main cam, anchor that tripod down. See, my, my cam bounced off the ice two weeks ago. That red, I know, I'm, I'm hiding inside here. I, I'm i normally a whole hopper, you guys. I like to get out and, and get around. Um, Like normally, if it wasn't so windy and ugly out, I would have 10 holes popped around this brake line here. And I'd be out hopping around trying to, you know, find some of these fish. Yeah, it's 57 is still doing it. That's good, man. I hope to be 87 and still trapping, you know. I'm running out of heat. That's better yet. Always good content in your channel. Thanks for the live stream so we can get out. Well, I hope you get out, man. Thanks a lot. I can set my M7. Give my hand. I don't use too many 330s. Those 750s are a tough trap. I've used them. What bait am I using? I'm just using a pink and white buckshot uh, with a half a minnow on it currently. I do have a dead stick I'm going to put down here pretty soon, though. Mr. Ice, you definitely need a big camera. I definitely need a big camera. This summer, I will end up getting a big camera. Mm. Am I targeting a certain fish that are in, or anything that just bites? I'm actually hoping for walleyes here. I got set up early so I could chat with you guys. Um, I know there's, like I said, there's, I knew the perch would be here. There's pike to come through. I'm really hoping to get a walleye or two for my ma for supper. Hazy snow, hazy skier. I remember when I was 42. No, well, I actually don't. Time flies, man. I'm on a shaper slew right now. Oh, rolling. Nice, man. How's that going? You hammering some big perch? I've I've heard I've heard about that place. I'd I'd love to. I don't, so is there anybody from ND? You know, like Brown Valley City that per, that fishes a lot out there is currently fishing out there. Mm -hmm. I would love to come out to North Dakota. You know, within two hours or so I'll drive. And just come out for the morning, you know, mid-afternoon and drive back and fish with somebody, you know. That'd be freaking awesome. Jonathan, not trying to be hard. Can you set an MB? Yes, Jonathan, I can set an M MB750 by hand. That's that's how I set that's how I set all my footholds. I I don't have trap setters for anything. Um I need to get some more MB750s. I actually had two of them. And last spring somebody stole them so I need to get some more 750s they're a pain to set by hand and it's not it's not that they're I mean they're hard to set but they're it's just hard getting the pan to, to, to set it's not an ideal trap to set by hand to be perfectly honest with you there's a fish this still cannot find banked ends they're there dude you just got to keep on keep on checking man Found a few crappies or walleye I'm going for walleyes right now, bud. A lot of pike and crappie. How big? Hey, uh, Rowan, you got some nice crappies out there. This lake I'm on right now has some nice crappies in them, but you got to find them. Absolutely love the beaver trapping content. Ohio beaver trapper here. What would you? What would be your? My favorite 330 and a sea trap. A lot of public lakes. Would love to see some river trap videos. I do trap a lot of lakes, and I love to trap rivers. There's actually a a, a lodge on the on the river down for me a few miles i might actually ask permission to go and trap that it's not a very big one um probably a couple beaver in it but i do love trapping rivers and you said what's my favorite beaver trap belial man belial 330 it's, that's where it's at for me definitely This bugger back down there 91 people 87 thumbs up make sure and hit that thumbs up you guys i'd appreciate it some walleye nice i oh come on fish oh is that a bigger fish is that a, two fish together there we go another that was two fish together perchy perch a little bit chunkier one not know a North Dakota perch. Not 
not no MD perch. What? They're fun to catch around here and they're good eaters. Another little guy. I'm hoping to get a couple of the big ones. You know, there's there's big ones in here. Ten and a half, eleven plus, you know. leaving he's like no true fans don't get burnt out yeah uh oh I lost my minnow head like oh shaper slew they're hammering it yeah dude same thing you know anything around here is getting hammered pretty hard it's you know COVID people can get outside so they want to get out and they want to fish you know it's just the nature of the beast you could say once uh once the lakes get drivable, it's gonna get even you know more people out. <laughs> My mom, I can't get the likes or anything on mine. Thumbs up. Thanks for the thumbs up, mom. You said it, that's all that matters. Come, you can fish with us. How any, Rowan? Any idea how far Schaefer Slough is from Detroit Lakes? Give me an idea. Jim, Sony PX Z ninety is what we use for the hunting public. How much? So how much does a camera like that run, Jim? I'm not, you know. I don't want to spend a million dollars, but I would like a, just a decent video, middle of the road type of camera. I know the hunting public, I'm sure has the has the best. You know, they're they're I, I love watching the hunting public. Good bunch of guys, deer hunting. Okay, 14s and 15 inch walleye. Those are good eaters. I live in Minneapolis. I'm about three hours from you and five hours in North Dakota. Been catching anything? Just got done with work. Thinking of going, throwing down a minnow tomorrow. Anytime you're going, you're thinking about going to throw a minnow down, it's probably a good idea. How's it go? A bad day of fishing beats a good day of work. I'd have to say. How far north are you, Dusty? I live in Detroit Lakes. That's kind of my core area. I was actually born right in Detroit Lakes, and that's where I reside. I don't trap, but when I can't sleep at night, I bring. I binge watch your beaver trapping videos, Mr. Ice. I. <clears throat> I do, man, I love to beaver trap. I love trapping in general. Sauce. People also ask me often, you know, what my, how, what's the most amount of beaver I've ever caught in, in one season? And um, the answer to that is, is uh, 467 beaver is the most beaver I have ever caught in one season. And that was all on foot. Um, didn't have a snowmobile or nothing. That was all on foot walking to sloughs. And so on and so forth and that was probably 12 or so years ago biggest beaver ever caught people ask me that 86 pounds i got that when i was 16. um it was kind of nice my dad was still alive and out trapping with me he passed away in 1997 um from cancer but that is the biggest beaver i've ever caught in my whole life minnow head back down here I can get back over to the chatter come to Michigan and we can go trap some rivers hunt for the hunt for dinner you know I got I got some buddies that live in actually I got I know quite a few people live in Michigan I got a buddy of mine um his name is Heath Gagnon I, he doesn't upload a lot anymore but he's got a lot of good videos Gagnon outdoors he lives in the UP fishes like Gogebic quite a bit and does a lot of beaver trapping out there I think, I think it'd be fun to leave some you know leave and go do some beaver trapping somewhere else How much you hurting to do? Laverne, I I do I, I'll do a lot of bow hunting if I can. But you know, with my with my my summertime job, 
that has to come first. Um, the fall is pretty, pretty intense for me when it comes to work. If I'm lucky, I'll get a few days to a week of bow hunting before rifle season rolls around. Other years, I get a lot more hunting done. But it's not uh, always, you know, that way. I but I do I do love to hunt. Ooh. Perch. I do love to I do really love to bow hunt. If I could choose, you know, one type of hunting, it would be bow hunting. But I know not everybody can bow hunt, so a lot of people have jobs and time consuming, you know. I what I need to do again is grab my uh you know grab my new otter vortex and do a maybe do a do a catch and cook on the lake again. Ooh, there's a fish. Come on. Hey, keep the good work. Merch, dude, that's another thing. I've, I've really thought about coming up with something. Um, somebody, there's some people that have got a hold of me and have came up with a logo that I didn't like. You know, I don't know. If I'm, I'm not, maybe I'm really too picky, but I would like to start coming up with some hoodies. I've been thinking of what to put on them. You know, Swamp Donkey. You know, I like to fish and stuff, so I thought about doing I fish and stuff on them. Um, man, I don't know. I, but I, I've been thinking about that very soon. What kind of jig are you using? Using a buckshot? I have some questions concerning muskrats, weir, or water poisons. I use apples and carrots both. Um, I think, they, I think they like apples more because of the sweet smell. About four and five hours. Okay, I missed still head fishing on the lake someone on trapper man was wanting to know if anyone had tried beaver tail <clears throat> oh yeah yep beaver tail's good there boys beaver tail catches the fish that's for sure i'm gonna turn the heat up and here the wind's starting to really give her now there we go gonna roast us out of here Holy moly, Jim Ryder, do they pay you for your music? Do you skin your muskrats? How do you store them? I I can skin muskrats. I can I can skin about anything, guys. I don't I keep all my trapping stuff in a storage unit. So normally I'll seed my beaver for a week or, or so, let them freeze, and then my fur buyer comes to my storage unit and he buys them from me. I have put up thousands of muskrats so in my whole life and I put I put a lot of muskrats up and a lot of beaver up too I did enjoy that but now the time that I usually spend putting all that up I put into catching more beaver is all section 898 Scott I think a dude was supposed to be was supposed to to be videos mentioned I'm not sure what that means Nikon s70 I'll have to, Jay you, should, Jay, you should send that to me in a message, Nikon S70. I won't be able to remember it. I'm bad with my memory, but I, you know, I have a place up in Effie you can trap. Ooh, is that a walleye? That's a big fish, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Come on. Big fish. Big fish, you guys. Perch. 
because a big fishy guy, it's at 12 feet. I'm going to charge this buckshot up, maybe he'll eat it. He's just camped out at 12 feet, big, big fish, not a, not a perch. All right, we're going to load it up a little bit, we're going to drop this back down. Here it is, come on. Dude. All right, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm dropping my dead stick down. There's a very large fish down there. It doesn't wanna. Got my dead stick here, boys. Golden shiner on here. going down the hole right now shiner deployed yep go 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 little buddy run let's just hope that this fish sees this golden shiner and wants to crunch it dude I had that fish eight feet off the bottom I don't know maybe it was a big pike or something I don't know Come on, down, 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 down. Get my, if I can get the shiner down there, I'm gonna start jigging again. That was a big mark though, you guys. Let's see. Okay. All right. Ooh. My shine is going wild here, boys. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Mink, mink, what I do for work. Um, I, do lawn, I do landscaping and irrigation. There's a big, that big, that fish is on my shiner right now, you guys. I can see him. I do landscaping and irrigation during the summertime. I wanted to come over this way and for camera we'll get the Canon M50. It's a great camera that's affordable. Um, love the videos, man. We're not trapping. Thanks, Austin. What's your bucket list fish? I'd like to catch at least once. Dude, um, David, I want to go to Cascade Lake and get me a 15 and a half inch two plus pound perch. That is what I want to do. Oh, here comes a fish. Got him. Big fish, you guys, big fish. Crushed it. What do we got here? Be a walleye. Walleye. I knew it. Ha! You guys, ma, I got supper. Look at that, boys. There we go. Dude, this walleye came up and murderized this thing. What do you think about that? And there's another one. Oh, there's my bobber. Guys, bobber, bobber down right here, right now. Whoa, this walleye's going. Dude, this thing just smashed my, can I get a double? This would be freaking sick if I could. Got him. Got him. What do we got here, boys? Another walleye, double. Double walleye, you guys. Oh, if I can just not mess up. Oh. oh, come on. There we go. Another really nice walleye, you guys. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Come on. Don't mess it up. There we go. There we go. Oh, baby. That's probably a 16 incher. Freaking walleye double, you guys. Look at that. I'm gonna grab the other one back here and show you quick. There we go, you guys. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Nope. There we go, you guys. Look at that. Boom. And I never do any walleye videos. This one is freaking live. Both these fish are probably 
16s, I would say. Somewhere around there. In fact, I'm gonna, I got my bump board back here. I'm gonna take a look right now. Because this bump board is 16 inches long. This one's about an inch longer, so these are probably 17 inch walleyes, you guys. You guys aren't gonna beat these for eating. Look at that. I'm gonna put my shiners back down, you guys. Ma, I got you supper. Now we're going for supper for me. Sorry guys, if you guys, you guys do any walleye fishing, which I'm sure you do, you know that when the bite is hot, it's hot. So I'm trying to get, get this stuff back down there. What a mess. All right. And get this golden shiner down there. <clears throat> Go on. You guys, I think there's another fish on the bottom down here. I'm not going to lie to you. Come on, stop now. Ooh. I think there might be another fish on the bottom down here. If you guys also notice, I use back rail on that fish. down here. I'm not kidding. Get this bin a little closer to the bottom though I think. There we go. Get this shiner by the bottom. Blow my jig up here a little bit you guys. That was freaking fast, you guys. Must have had a school just come ripping in. It's a nice looking fish on the bottom. I'm gonna go down, so make sure there's not something gonna come charging up. Well, that was freaking, that was, Fast and furious, you guys. 4.30, okay. We're going to let this roll for about another half hour, guys. I'm going to get down to just start trapping this year. What line do you suggest? The fish, the fish LeClaire? Is that what it is? Dude, I still have trouble finding them bank dens. Hey, dude, five bucks, yo. Thank you for the tip. I really appreciate it, man. A lot. Um... You're good. You're a good dude, man. I appreciate all the help you guys are giving me. I think I've said that before, and all the all the views you guys are giving me, it's you guys are top notch, to say the least. I've been seeing a lot of my sonar having trouble getting the bite. Some nights are just like that, man. Yo-yo time. We've all been there. Hello. How do you keep your shiners alive? I like to run a little tiny bubbler, baby bubbler. Quiet bubbles. I replaced the one on my angle cooler because honestly they suck. There's a fish down there on bottom. Come on. Aerator, what sonar unit do you use? Um, I'm using the Markham MX or Markham LX7 currently. I uh, I do have their new MX7 and I plan on using that here shortly. Come on. Oof. I know there's. <laughs> right is there okay I'm still on there heck yeah you did it the man dude 
That was freaking sweet. I'm sorry. I probably didn't catch up on the chat. I'm reading through this. You know, you guys, I was excited. Walleye freaking double. Get my mom some grub for tonight. She'll be pretty happy. I guarantee it. Big fish on bottom, you guys. Big fish on bottom. I'm going to watch my bobber. And I'm also going to go through here. That freaking double was sweet. Eating like a king. Mom's got supper. Darn right, boys. <clears throat> He'll be eating good. Good eating. I just watched the guy harass the other you. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Here's a, this is this a big fish. Mm, there was a fish coming up. He kind of changed his mind. Paul, take a couple for supper, right? I understand. I hear you're coming from, dude. Wouldn't mind that. I just. That's why I like to fish. I like to fish a jig and a minnow in the same, you know, a dead stick and a uh, jigging rod. Oh, dude, one just hammered my shiner. I was chasing it. One took a big swing on my shiner. Eat it. Dude, eat it. We want to see another. We want to see another walleye, boys, don't we? Tail's kind of messing up my hook here, you guys. Glow this bad boy up here. Oh, we're going down. Nice walleye. What sonar do you use? Like I said, that I got the old Markham LX7 on the lithium shuttle. Do you think the animals divide their territories along the rivers by landmarks? No, I think they, you know, they have their caster mounds and so on and so forth. That's what most of the, you know, beavers and, and such, you know, that's how they divide their. fish on here fish on I was dude I was just gonna move my bobber stop a little bit wham freaking hammer skinny baby come on now come on still be there tightening up boys tightening up got him another one another walleye I bet come on come on boys another walleye right that'd be great oh no it's pike this time you guys I thought for sure it's gonna be a walleye. Come on. No. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, please. You're messing stuff up. Yep, you're messing stuff up. Outside my door, I'm trying to see what I'm using for a jig. Okay. Okay. Let me get the shiner back down there, you guys. Ninety-nine people, guys. Let's hit that hundred mark. Hundred and eleven thumbs up. I like it. Is that because I caught that double on the walleyes? I hope. Get this back down there, you guys, and then I'll jump back on the chat. Like I said, I only got probably another twenty minutes left before I got to pack up here. Ooh, that's a big fish on bottom. Big fish on bottom, you guys. Mm. Big fish on bottom. 
but I'm going down. I'm going down after. Come on. That's a big fish. That ain't that ain't no perch. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, bud. You know you want to eat it. I'm going to keep an eye on this while I'm scrolling. Sorry, guys. So just a little gill. My dad got me a bunch of new stuff. Auction tables work, too. They're dug in that shack. Hey, Nick. How's it going, bud? Good to see you in here. Nick Heinrich. I really like the hideout. I, You know, at first I thought that this was going to be hard to fish two lines with, but I got one to the bottom left here one to the upper right and I haven't had any issues with it at all so we all need we all need more than likely if we are all school students I'm not sure what all that means nice Walters but I'm out on the ice only got a perch of my middle size my wife is a joke not a thing to see someone do you have to go to Beaverler for caster mounds anything caster based dude is good Honestly, in my opinion, I before I even started using everyone else's beaveler, oh, I was making my own. Did I zoom in somehow or something? I think I zoomed in somehow in my face. Is that even possible? No. I threw the pike back. If you're looking for any kind of pamphlet fish, the edges are where it's at. Did you use your... No, I didn't videotape my 2020 video. Or my 2020 buck, guys. Sorry. I'm going to glow. i got to glow with the buck shot up. Do an impressive live fishing at the camera. Was positioned so we could see you in the hole. That'd be nice. I know, I I just kind of threw this together with a tripod I had. I love what you do. Thanks for showing all that you do when, when watching. Thanks for watching, man. I I appreciate it. I, I, I can't say that enough. What is your opinion concerning whether an animal movement notice any peak sometimes? I don't know. I It's almost like the animals are just stubborn some days. I can set up a beaver lodge that is active, tons of beaver in it. I know there is. Um, they won't, they won't move, and then all of a sudden, like, they just decide to move one day. It's really weird. Animals are weird like that, guys. I asked, do you guys notice, did I, did the camera zoom in in my face? It looks like it's, like, zoomed in or something. Or is that just me being paranoid? How do I zoom out? There, there we go. There we go. We're back. Back to being normal. Sorry, guys, about that. Some, still some more fish down here, I, but I can't tell if they're big or... Hi Scott, it'd be cool to see you do some coyote trapping. I would. I I might do some cable restraints this winter when we get a little bit more snow. I plan on doing some cable restraints anyway. Um, do some snaring for coyotes. I enjoy uh, 
I enjoy all kinds of trapping. I just need to make more time for it. It's tough for me to shift gears from from beaver and muskrats, you know, right to coyotes. A lot more trap prep. Mm. And I'm just honestly not prepared for it. I had, you know, COVID and a bunch of other stuff threw a big curveball in my in my trapping slash fishing season. Oh, what do we got? So, um, so I'm, you know, I'm, I think I'm doing pretty good getting videos and stuff out. I was going to switch it up more this year and it just didn't quite happen the way I wanted it to. Why is beavers so, so stupid? Um, you know, beavers are, honestly, they're, they're not very smart until they get a trap slapped on their nose or a foothold slapped on their toe and they get away then boy there is i don't think there's anything worse than a trap smart beaver you guys i've had to the point where i've had to dye all my snares black and hide them in the grass in order to take one last beaver out of some place they man they can be hard you don't get me wrong you can catch them all in a couple days but if you get a, a really educated beaver they can be a nightmare to catch and if you're doing you know nuisance work and you got to catch that last beaver it can take a guy weeks weeks of trapping sleepless nights all the above it can it can be bad there guys come on guys we got, well, i want to get one more walleye here Those two that came in were that was pretty sweet that was that was a little wham bam thank you ma'am going on there <clears throat> nice if another pod would come through maybe that's what the deal is we need another pot of fish to come through Upstate New York is just about ready for ice. Got the 24 volt Strike Master for Xmas. Can't wait to use it. Tell you what, I sure do like 24, or I sure do like the Strike Master stuff. I got the 40 volt lithium. I'm also running the Light Flight on my Milwaukee. Awesome. You know, I got the six inch on it because I do a lot of pan fishing. Um, I'm fishing out of a six inch hole right now. You can get a pretty big fish to a six inch hole. Not a 10 pound walleye, I don't think. Ooh. Come on, this looks very walleye-ish, you guys. Did it hit it? Or it's a giant perch. If it's a giant perch, my mom's gonna eat you. you. Must be getting hungry, catch and cook. I am getting hungry, not gonna lie, but I'm going to have to find something else because I promised my mom these ball eyes back here. The tripod moved a little while ago. That's probably from the pike hitting it. Hate, hate it. People trying to be so cool. Just show people that need to see it. Actually, I try to keep my stuff pretty simple, bud. Yeah, see? There's my mom. She wants, she wants those wall eyes, you guys. <clears throat> have you ever heard of a uh, St. Lawrence River? I have heard of the St. Lawrence River. There's so many places I would love to fish, I just can't. Murray, yeah. Murray's got me hooked on the dude. I say it a lot now. He's rubbed off on me. It's all Murray's fault. Fishing with those guys was a lot of fun. Fishing with Murray and Josh from Pig Patrol and Boo. Brock and Nick Marshall. Those guys were a hoot. I wish I could fish those guys more often. I took my I got it on BD. No more no more boss, please. I would love to spend a couple days trapping beaver with you, Chris. See see Hayes? It's a hoss. I take, ooh, that's a big looking fish. I take people with me from time to time over trapping. I enjoy it. Just 
just taking people with me, you know, in general. Ah, there's a good sized fish down there and it's harassing my minnow. This wind is just ugly outside, you guys. You guys can't tell, but I don't like it. I'll open this up and maybe this more light. Can you guys still see me? Maybe. Good enough anyway, right? Time we got, boys. 100, over 100 now. 446. 5 o'clock, boys. I'm going to shut her down, pack up, go home, give my mom some fish. And then, ooh, here we go. This is a walleye charging. Come on. Got him. Got him. Walleye right here, boys. Right? Yep, yep, yep. Good eater, good eater, good eater, you guys. Oh. <laughs> See? You hear me talking about it, and he freaking came. Shame of charging. Oh. He raced up to this thing and hammered it. You guys. Oh, here we go, boys. This is a perfect eater, you guys. Look at that, right there. Probably, a, I don't know, this is probably 15 and a half, I would guess. Come up and slammed that pink and white buckshot. Well, there you go, Mom. Hey, Mom, I don't think I've caught three walleyes all year. And when I say I'm going to give them all to you, they start biting. What's up with that? Great. Gonna put a minnow tail back on this thing. There might be another fish in the bottom. There's something down here harassing my shiner, it looks like, you guys. Another school coming in, maybe? I'm gonna glow this jig up, jig my minnow a little bit. back down here. Don't worry, I haven't forgot about you guys. Just getting my ducks in a line here. In a row. Is that how it goes? There we go. Where are we at, you guys? I want rock bass? No. Not on this channel. Just kidding. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and educating your audience. That's what I like to do with my with my trapping videos, you know, and everything as much as I can. I like to, you know, explain to people what's going on and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Wish I had ice every time. Good afternoon, 330 nicely done on the eye. Jed, thanks a lot there, bud. Just added another one to the tally. Not only can you set 330 and the sky live stream and camera answer questions, still catch more fish than you. That's it's been a good night, you guys. I'm not going to lie. It's... Mm. Three walleyes is really good out here. Put it on the ice. Got her. I'll be in your neck of the woods tomorrow chasing the fish with Tyler. It's supposed to be a nice day out tomorrow. Nice. I will not be out fishing tomorrow. Unfortunately, I can't. Unfortunately, I can't. What do you, what do you look for when you select your fishing spot? Set the fish house on sign. I so right now tonight you guys I'm I'm on a break line there's there's a point up here with a bunch of standing green weeds okay and there are ooh, another fish oh come on yep another wallow you guys come on come on up come on here he comes come on no he's on my minnow he's on my minnow he's on my minnow I'm on a break line you guys these what is happening is these these walleyes are coming up to feed and the, this, these weeds up here, there's full of perch, full of small bluegill, you name it. And these fish are coming up here in the evening of feed. And we're just intercepting them. That's all we're doing. Here comes a walleye. Oh, gosh. Come on, dude. Getting excited here. He's like raising up right about to where my shiners. I'm waiting for this bobber to just go. Charge this, like, charge this back up again. back up again quick. Oh, 
those charges. I'm going to go down. 449. The walleye knew we need to be good for your mom. That's right. These fish better know what mom wants, mom gets. The fish on bottom. He's eyeballing that shiner dude. It's hard. I'm going down right now. Ooh, there's a fish on it too. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. <laughs> Getting some eyes, dude. Walleyes are they're fun to catch. I really like summertime fishing them. They're they are definitely a blast. Sweet live stream. What are we fishing for? Walleyes, dude. I've caught three of them so far. And some pikeys and some perches. Run just ahead. I find the ones that follow like a smaller. I'm like I said. I'm using. I'm. I've noticed that they actually like the tail out here. Uh, I was using the head, but they just didn't like the head. I think they like just the motion of the tail swimming in the water, probably. Oh yeah, you're from you're from Canada. I a lot of awesome fishing in Canada, man. A lot of walleyes, a lot of everything up there. Oh my gosh, there goes my bobber. Hammer City boys, Hammer City. Come on, my stuff straight here. Here we go. 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 Got him. Got him. There we go, boys. Dude, thing smashed. I don't know if it's a wally or not, but it freaking annihilated my shiner book here, guys. Another wally would be great. What do we got? Mm. I can't tell. I didn't, I didn't see him. What do we got? Oh, pike. Infamous pike. Oh, pike. Oh. No, no, no. Stop it. Come on. Oh. oh. I messed up. He broke me off, you guys. Darn it. What do we got left here? About six minutes. I'm not even put my dead stick back down, you guys. I'm just going with what I got. Mm. Oh. So I've caught, I mean, I've caught two walleyes off the buckshot, one off the shiner. Drop this back down here quick. Mm. It's, I had six pound test on that rod, or did it, was it eight? I don't know. But I kind of horsed that pike. What's the limit here? Let's see here. Ooh, there's a fish. Got him. Freaking Hammer City. Oh, you guys. No. It was a freaking monster. Oh, and he got off. Dude, he came up and annihilated that thing. I can't give up now. I can't, I can't do it. We're, we're not done yet, boys. We still got a few minutes left. Dude, oh, I think that was a walleye. That didn't come up like a like a dart, like a pike. Kind of came up all sluggish, sluggy-ish, ish. -ish. All right, we're going back down. We're going back down. Oh. It was just a big blob, you guys, and it just kind of raised up slow. Then it came up and stalled out. Then went back down, then it came back up and just crunched it. 
I think that I think that that was a walleye. Ooh, there's one fish coming. Come on, just off the bottom. Come on, home slice. Where are we at here, you guys? Can't see every other walleye other than Lake Winnipeg, only five minute drives. <sighs> Winnipeg is on my bucket list, bud. Headed to Western Minnesota Tuesday morning chasing ditch chickens. What are you fishing for? What are you what are you fishing in? I am fishing in my otter hideout. It's a one man thermal. <clears throat> it's I'm very pleased with it. Well, I got my flasher set up. I have a heater in here. I have a tripod in here, and I'm also running a dead stick, or it was. And I wasn't having any any issues at all. So if I wasn't running a camera, I could probably have like 10 more guys in here. Not really, but you guys know what I mean. Glow this up one more time. What do you fish? Besides the bait, do you have any favorite lures, colors, etc.? Mm, buckshot, man. Buckshot got two walleyes tonight. Green and white or, or pink and white neon glow. Sean, rookie mistake. It's my stepbrother, you guys. Guy can't catch any fish. I gotta bring him fish. So, yeah, Sean. Don't eat my walleyes. Mom's eating them. I gotta bring him fish because he can't catch his own. The tingler spoon is good. I've I've used a tingler spoon. It um, there's a couple of lakes that it works really well on. I have actually have five or six of them in my thing here. What time is it, you guys? 4:58. We still got a few more minutes. Well, come up fishing with me and Darren. I've got that lake. I've got that lake fairly on lockdown. Biggest this year is only 25, but I've only done walkout so far, kind of happening after Christmas. Where's the sauce, dude? I don't want to sound dumb. You and Darren, who? Uh, where's the sauce? Who is that? I don't. My brain. My brain is not working. Darren, who? Never put up Wally videos. Yet here you are pulling one out like hot. Yeah, that's it's all. It's all luck. Ooh, here's a fish. Here we go. Fish coming hard, too. Come on, come back. No, 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 no. Here comes. Here comes. No, you guys, that was a big fish. Oh, dude, I had that thing like six feet off the bottom. Come back. Oh my gosh, you guys, that fish was all over me. <sighs> Why they gotta do that to me right now? Mm. Thanks for a super fun evening. Hey, no problem, man. Thanks for joining me. Step brother's gonna get back in when I get home. Are you using your wrist setter? Uh, no, I'm not using the wrist setter. I had four of them actually, and then somebody broke into my truck and left five more, so it wasn't a good day for those wrist setters. try this and I just glowed my spoon up you guys oh, darn it that last fish gave me a heart attack you guys he was freaking all over me I'm not even kidding you
Rob Grubb, Scotty, what's up? What's up, dude? The Fish Leclerc, five bucks. Again, dude, thank you so much. Enjoy the vids. I've learned a lot of tricks from you. Keep it up. Hope to get some under this beeper on my resetting snare. Solid, man. Hey, I appreciate the dollars you guys are giving me tonight a lot. Do you know Wayne and Daryl and Squirrely Dan? Uh, yep. I don't know them, but I know who they are. If that's what you're wondering. Fishing technique tips. I can't really see what you're actually doing now. I'm going to pull this up here in about, let's see what time is it. In about five minutes, I'm going to pull this spoon up. Just tell everybody what I'm using exactly. Give you guys quick a rundown. I'm just hoping that big walleye comes back. That'd be great. Gosh, he was, you guys, he was so committed. He came up about two feet and then just kind of sat there and then came up and came up and came up. And he was all the way up to, you know, 11 feet, you know, so he was five feet off the bottom all over this. And then he just freaking bolted on me. I kind of wish I'd put my shiner back down on the dead stick, but like I said, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to bounce this off the bottom a few times, you guys. Hey, Dylan. There's my nephew, Dylan Boyt. What's up, dude? Thanks for joining me here. It's kind of the end of my thing here, but that's cool. You got to stop by anyway catch me at the end of my shenanigans I'm just gonna jig for a few more minutes here you guys I'm gonna give you guys a little look at these walleyes again quick tell you what I'm using I'm still praying that this walleye comes back or maybe his brother comes back that'd be great what I should have did was I should have should have cut the gills on these walleyes and bled them out a little bit right away, but oh, that's all right. They'll still eat. What is my biggest fish? Um, well, my biggest fish ever is a 52 and a half inch muskie I caught four years ago now. That was like 39 pounds. Um, biggest pike I caught last year, last March on, on Devil's Lake there. That was a 44 and a half inch, 20, ooh, there's a fish down there, 20 some, 23, 24. Guys, there's a fish on bottom. He's raising up a little bit too. Please. Here he comes, here he comes. He disappeared, you guys. Oh, he's still there. You guys, I don't know if that was a walleye. So I'm in 16 feet of water. That had that fish all the way up to 8 feet. Like 8 feet down. So that was halfway up the water column. That was more than likely a pike. I don't know. Huh. Time we got you guys. 506. Okay. Four more minutes. 510, boys. We're going to shut her down.
keep up good videos. I learn a lot of beaver trap. I just wish I could catch them like you. You know, a lot of people kind of say that. I have a lot of time on my hands. So I don't think that necessarily makes me a better trapper than anyone. I just have more time to do it. It's like it's like fishing and anything else. You know, I give a guy enough time to do it and you know, you're going to you're going to you know, you're going to have time to do more or catch more. Success is, you know, you can rate it however you want. Me, I like I said, if I would have caught one walleye tonight, who is a fish coming? Two fish. School, school walleyes. It's gotta be. Oh, come on. Dude, you guys. No. Two, you guys, two big fish came charging up. Two fish came charging up. <laughs> and I didn't get either one of them. Oh, here comes here comes one back, kind of. All right, I'm going to glow this thing up. I got to glow it up. There. <sighs> glow it, glow it, glow it, glow it, glow it up, glow it up, glow it up, glow it up, quick, glow it up, quick, glow it up, quick, glow it up, quick. Okay, we're putting it back down there. <sighs> Dude, two big marks. It had to have been walleyes. I don't even remember what I was saying. It's had to have been walleyes. I really wish I would have got that dead sick back down. They're just coming up like they want to commit and then they kind of stalled out. Dylan, yep, I'm fishing Minnesota, bud. Yes, I've caught lots of bass. That's a big old bluefin, bud. Tuna's pretty good stuff. I have a bass coat, smells fishy. How long have you been? How long have you been fishing? I think I'm at two hours right now, actually. Have you ever tried pre-baiting your fishing spot? Does it work? Um, I th actually, I think pre-baiting is illegal here in Minnesota. You can't chum. Do any chumming at all, nothing like that. Hey, Papa Romaz, dude, you showed up. <laughs> and I gotta leave in like a minute. Oh man, good to see you pop in, dude. Oh, there's a fish. How'd muzzle loader go there, bud? Did you get anything? See anything good? Bud, good videos. Might as well make a couple more days from Southern Zone left. I think I got a couple perks down here now, possibly. Hey, David Bakken, man. What's up, Dave? Good to see you, dude. David is a really good buddy of mine. I've known him since I was zero. Uh, my dad and I used to take him out trapping with us like way back in the day, back in the early 90s. And he's been one of my best friends ever since. And hopefully this spring he's gonna make it up for walleye opener. Right, Dave? Yeah. Oh yeah, Papa, I caught, caught a few walleyes here. Trapping for this dead, hello from the new phone. Hey John, how's it going bud? Only had 11 does and one 4.2 degrees, 28 inches. Okay, I'm gonna what up Rob, hey, hey, hey. Already, already took it off. Nice, Dave. Good to hear that, man. All right, you guys. I've got a call it quits here, but all right. My jigging rod, tuned up custom rods, 36 inch power precision. I got a pink and white glow buckshot spoon. My other, my other rod is a 36 inch tuned up custom rods precision just a slip bobber on it reels pc fun icx5 reels um my unit sonar 
Markham LX7 guys always use that. Fish house, my otter hideout one man. Is here quick. Can find them. There's a couple, a couple right there. There's one right there. 17 incher, 16 and a half. And then there's one more somewhere. Where'd he go? Oh, there it is. It's hiding under my bag. Oh. There. Then there's the other one. Another, another 17 incher. You guys. There we go, boys. There we go. Yeah. Hey, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this live tonight. I'm really glad I caught some fish for you guys. It was really good. Um, what route? What route do you recommend for pike? Guys, so quick, um, the new, Tunip has a new Vulcan rod out, 40 incher, 3840, that rod right there, Papa. Anyway, hope you guys like this, or like this video. One's coming up at 6 o'clock, Man vs. Beaver Part 3, you guys, please don't miss that. Hit this like button on here, I appreciate everything you guys do, and I got a peace out. Thanks for coming, guys.